Hello and welcome to this new online course, Technology for Online Learning. If you're an educator, administrator, or someone in the educational industry that's interested in the technology that it takes to create online learning environments where students can thrive, this is the online course for you. Students today are actively engaged in online media in their everyday lives. This course has been designed to help educators use commonly available technology tools to enhance their teaching capabilities with blended and online learning. Online learning is allowing students to access their teachers and course materials more easily than ever before. Teachers are now able to take on more work as a mentor and guide for students who are able to interact with online materials at their own pace. Blended learning environments are providing students with transferable skills they can leverage in the real world, which include problem solving and the ability to take research into their own hands. Learning management systems are now allowing students to engage with educational materials in the same way they engage with online media. From an educational perspective, this allows students the opportunity to have multiple starts with material that they can learn at their own pace. Educational organizations can now take advantage of some of the same customized experiences students are used to online, which include recommendation engines and personalization. While the benefits are great, it can be intimidating for any educator moving from a face-to-face -face classroom environment to an online teaching environment. And that is why we have created this online course. This course is called Technology for Online Teaching, and my name is Paul Richards. I will be the instructor, and I have over 10 years of experience in audiovisual and educational technology. Now, who is this course for? Of course, it's for educators, but administrators can also learn how to support educators in their online learning efforts. This will be great for beginners or tech savvy educators. Now, the ideal student is any educator who wants to improve their capabilities of working with media. And this includes webcams, document cameras, video making, using imagery, and all sorts of video production tools that will help you deliver better online materials. And we'll also talk about online communication technologies like Google Meet and Zoom and best practices to get the most out of your online meetings with students as well. Now, we also are going to have some guest teachers joining us to help us give us good perspective on what has worked in 2020, okay, in the spring, where we had a really big transition to online learning. So I have a teacher from uh, actually Arizona in a high school who's joining us, Drake Finney. And I also have a college level professor, Christine Hagador, joining us from Rosemont College. Each one of these teachers has different perspectives on what's working and how to move to an online learning environment effectively. Now, the components of this course will be a step-by-step -step technology guide. So we're going to go over step-by-step -step the technology that you have commonly access to, smartphones, webcams, screen captures, open source and free video creation tools that you can use to make your online courses more effective. Next, we'll go over beginner strategies for content creation. Not only are we going to be able to save you a lot of time, but your material that you end up with uploading to your learning management system will be much more effective and engaging. Then we'll go on to intermediate strategies where you can follow along and really become a more productive content creator. And finally, we'll go into training and practice exercises where we give you real world skills from our guest teachers. Now, what's required to take advantage of this course? You will need a computer. You'll likely want to have a smartphone and you'll want to have a webcam. With these three things, you can create engaging videos and we'll help you figure out the software and apps that you can put on your computer and your smartphone to take best advantage of online learning. 
That's it. You can learn more about this course in the description below. I hope that you take this course and this journey along with me. Let's get started.